Hello fellas, General McBadass here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys what I like to call the laser gun build. Well, this build's a little unorthodox since it's basically just one very specific setup, and it was created for just one reason, and that reason is to utilize a suppressed street sweeper. And well, let me show you why. This build is created for the sole reason that the suppressed street sweeper sounds like a laser gun. That's it. Now, in the past, I've tried making a suitable build that would make the suppressed street sweeper semi usable on Deathwish, but it never really worked out. Between the low damage the street sweeper already had, and then putting on a silencer on top of that, it always performed very poorly, especially when compared to the other two secondary shotguns. Not only that, but trying to make a build revolving around that setup was just inefficient as all hell getting all the enforcer skills for the shotguns, putting on the silencer skills and ghosts, it really just wasn't worth all the effort. But that was in the past. Right now, after my friend Soze suggested it to me, I gave this particular setup another go, but this time with one difference. And that difference is putting triple op buck ammo on the street sweeper. Now, the special ammo types in the past used to be pretty underwhelming. They gave shotguns some interesting mechanics, but the ammo gimp in terms of total ammo as well as ammo pickup made most of the shotgun ammo types undesirable, since, you know, you'd get so much more utility out of regular ammo. However, after balance changes, the ammo pool and the ammo pickup for the special shotgun ammo types is actually not that bad at all. So just by putting on triple-op buck, it makes this build actually viable, and interestingly enough, I'd actually go as far as to say that this is probably one of the strongest shotgun setups I've ever seen. It has crazy crowd clearing capability, much better than any other shotgun I've ever used, and it utilizes a speedy dodge shotgun build, something that's a little bit more unique than the average setup. So, let's take a look at what we need to make this build. So, the important parts that we want to get for this build are shotgun skills, which include damage and faster reload, silencer damage skills, and we're also going to be utilizing extra dodge and crits as well. Now I would say that the absolutely necessary skills that I'm going to be picking up are shotgun impact ace, shotgun CKB basic, overkill basic, silent killer ace, and low blow and sneaky bastard basic. I am going to be using the ex-president perk deck, so I'm also going to be using bullseye as well. Those go hand in hand for me. As with the rest of the skills, you can do whatever you want with it, but this is kind of how I've set it up. Since this is a dodge build, I'm going to be getting all the stamina and speed skills, so endurance, at least basic, very handy to have. Uh, combat medic and cable guy, those were kind of throwaway points because I had two extra points. An enforcer, I've picked up transporter, underdog, die hard, stun resistance, ammo specialist, and fully loaded. Now, fully loaded basic will be pretty handy to have that extra 25% ammo for the uh, special shotgun ammo types. The ace version, however, will not affect those, so I would not recommend picking that up. Nothing in technician, in ghost, sprinter, fast hand shinobi, something I like to have in pretty much every build. Martial Arts, SMG Specials, Cleaner, Dead Presence, and Cat Burglar, mostly filler points just to get up to Silent Killer. And in Fugitive, Hidden Blade, Thick Skin, Duck Cover, Quick Fix, Brothers Keeper, Running Gun, and Daredevil. Mostly just stuff to get to the higher tiers. Oh, and my favorite, the Swan Song. As we saw in the skills, I am going to be worrying about my concealment for this setup, so I only really have like two weapon setups that I'll use. In my primary, I'll either use the Planes Rider Bow or the Cavity 9mm. These are two weapons with really high concealment. And with the Planes Rider Bow, I have that modded with Explosive Arrows. And with the Cavity, a Low Profile Suppressor, Appalachian Foregrip, and a Compact Laser Module. Essentially, I'll use the Cavity if I have to deal with snipers, and if I don't, well, I'll just bring the bow. Simple enough. Now for my secondary, of course, of course, we're going to have the Street Sweeper Shotgun. And I have this modified with Triple Lock Buck, a Suppressed Barrel, and a Compact Laser Module. So, if we take a look at the stats of the Street Sweeper right now, we can actually see that it's a bit more comparable to the Locomotive. So by creating this build, we've effectively made the Street Sweeper more powerful, and just that much more useful. Now you could say, well, at that point, why not just use the Loco? Wouldn't it just be easier? And it kind of would, but at the same time, there's some things that the Street Sweeper has that the Loco doesn't. Namely, a high rate of fire and a larger magazine. Having both of these makes the Street Sweeper, in my opinion, much more effective than the Loco. And that'll be very apparent in the gameplay. Speaking of gameplay, enough rambling, let's get to it. 
Taking a look at the build, you wouldn't really think it was very special. I mean, it seems like it's just trying too hard to make something really stupid usable. And while the build itself is okay, it doesn't really seem like it would be worth attempting since there are probably better and easier setups. But if you watch the gameplay, I almost guarantee that you'll see the reason why I think that this build is pretty fucking amazing. So while we've upped the damage of the gun quite a bit through triple up buck, silencer skills, and shoddy skills, it still isn't as high as something like the Judge. It'll take a few extra shots to kill enemies. Because of that, overkill from Enforcer is essential to the performance of the weapon. While on its own it's not that powerful, by chaining kill after kill, you bump the effectiveness of this weapon up to a whole nother level, cutting down on the amount of shots you'll need to kill, resulting in better efficiency. Having crits also helps as well, since overkill is only really effective after getting that first kill. And sometimes it'll take quite a few shots to get that first kill, especially if it's a special. You can spend upwards of 4, even 5 shots depending on what you run into, like a cloaker or a taser. So, having crits potentially shorten the shots needed to kill your first enemy to proc overkill is very welcome. Hell, even with overkill active, having crits is really nice since it'll do even more damage and boost your crowd clearing prowess. Normally, without overkill active, it'll take 2 shots for grey guys, 3 for tans, and like 4 or 5 for tasers and cloakers. But even with overkill, it only really shaves off like 1 shot from the amount of shots you need to kill. But with crits, being able to further lower the shots needed even more so that potentially you only really need one shot to kill helps out not only with dealing with cops faster, but also managing your ammo more efficiently. Speaking about ammo, that's actually the reason why this build even works right now. Since the big rebalance of weapons, I was always aware that it impacted shotgun ammo types in a positive way, which was really apparent when using HE rounds, which of course is something you commonly see. Before, having a special ammo type really gimped your total ammo from an ammo pool that was already relatively small to something incredibly tiny. And not only that, but it also made the pickup abysmal. With HE rounds though, it really didn't matter since using that meant you were probably using that shotgun as a utility more than anything else. And you didn't really have to worry about ammo that much. But if you were using slugs, flechette, or triple op buck, it would be way too difficult to sustain your ammo and rely purely on ammo pickup. Since then, I've kind of always put those special ammo types in the back of my mind, not really considering them for use, which is probably why it took this long to even contemplate using it, knowing full well that the rebalance changed them for the better. So, now putting on Triple Out Buck on the Street Sweeper is actually pretty handy since it helps out with the low damage it has while staying at a respectable ammo pool and also having decent ammo pickup. The pickup feels like one for one, or even better, whereas before if you had triple op buck you needed like two or three ammo packets just to get one shot back. Now, ammo isn't nearly as much of a concern as it was once before. Because of the particular way I modded my Street Sweeper, it doesn't really sport good accuracy, so the range isn't all that good. But, I'd actually say that this is better for the Street Sweeper, better than having accuracy like the Jocelyn. By having terrible accuracy, it has crazy good collateral ability, and combining that with some overkill proc damage or crits, you can possibly take out multiple enemies with just one shot. Damn good crowd control and ammo management. A win-win if you ask me. One small thing to mention though is that since you have Silent Killer, you also have a little bit of penetration ability. So when you spray into crowds of tan units, usually you despair over the fact that if you miss the head, the shot goes completely to waste because of their armor. However, with that small little bit of penetration you have, Spraying into a crowd is sometimes rewarding, since it'll just do damage on something out there anyway. With the way I use the Street Sweeper, it's pretty common for me to just aim down center mass in the hallway and just shoot a whole bunch, not really worrying about where I'm aiming or anything. I like this build, because for once, the Street Sweeper actually lives up to its name. So, not only is this build great for combat, but your survivability is also pretty damn good. When you use the bow and the street sweeper in a suit, along with a 32 consumer melee, you're going to be getting 13 visibility, which gives you a total of 22 dodge. Now the max dodge that you can get with X president and Sneaky Bastard is 25, so we're already pretty close to that. You could change the perk deck and probably fiddle around with some of the other weapons, but as I mentioned before, for this build, I don't really deviate from these weapons much, and using the cavity won't set me back that much on dodge and crits. I've also said before that Bullseye, paired with X-President's perk deck, makes that perk deck really damn good. I would say that normally the X-President perk deck is a middle to low tier perk deck, but used effectively with Bullseye, I would say it's a high tier perk deck. 
With a shotgun, getting headshots you need to proc the skill is a total breeze. All you need to do is aim in the general direction of an enemy, and you'll be able to get a headshot. It's almost guaranteed that as long as you keep shooting, you'll be able to make the absolute most out of Bullseye, regening any health you've stored up as long as your armor is broken. It's pretty hard to describe with words, but I mean, just watching the gameplay of it, you can really see the effectiveness of the combination of dodge and health regen. You're constantly dodging, bringing back your armor, regenerating health. It's pretty gnarly to see a dodge build this tanky. Of course, like any build, this one has its downsides. It's not really suited for larger maps, as it doesn't capitalize on the Street Sweeper at all. And your setup is also very limited, both in terms of skills and weapons. Since there are so many high tier skills that I would say are required, it's hard to move the skills about to change it if you wanted to make it more your own. As with any consumer setup, you're rather limited in your selection of weapons. So much so that for me, I only really have two primaries that I would use. I guess in that sense, that makes this build a bit situational depending on the map, but if we were to look at the grand scope of things, every build in this game is situational to an extent. Still, I'd say that this build is really damn fun. Speedy shotgun builds will always have a place in my heart, and this one fits in comfortably. It's a very rewarding setup that really relies on hectic gameplay. It doesn't really suit slower, sit back, and watch over your teammates type players. You gotta be right up in their face and blow everything away. Even so, I would call this a fairly easy build to use. I mean, you don't really have to rely on playing too much a certain way, and you don't really have to have amazing aim either. And you know what the best part is? This entire build was made just so I could hear the sound of the suppressed street sweeper. All because it sounds like you're shooting a laser. That's it. I've made similar setups before in the past, but I was always turned off from using them because the setup would actually turn out to be pretty crappy. But right now, I can confidently say that this setup is pretty godly. You wouldn't really think it either, but eh, ain't that something. Anyway, I've said all that I've wanted to say about this build. It's pretty hard to describe the actual effectiveness of it without trying it out yourself, so I would highly recommend that. But, well, enjoy the rest of the gameplay, and I'll see you guys later.